All right, this is Edwin again from Resolution Design Part 2 on how to add these products, how to add these products into Shopify. All right, um, in here, we this is Part 2 again, and this is following up with the example that of you know creating some products. If you haven't seen uh, how to add products into the store, please look at the other video that I made, and um, this is just Part 2, which is in regards to how to add products into a collection. So by this point, let's just pretend that you've already added all of your products into the store. And now what we're going to do is create collections, AKA categories. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to where it says collections right here on the left, okay? And right here, as you can see, there are some collections that are already made. Now I'm gonna to explain to you the differences of the two types of collections. You could create collections that have a code in it or um, an automation or a condition rather. That's how Shopify calls it, conditions. Um, and this saves up on a lot of time. You don't have to actually go in here and add the products manually. When there's a dash, what this means is that you have to add the products manually. And let me show you. Let's create a fictitious collection and let's just call it sample collection. Sample collection, okay? So I did create collection, called it sample collection. You don't have to put anything here, nothing here, but this is just a manual collection. In a manual collection right here, we're gonna click this and we're gonna say save collection. We're gonna call this sample manual collection so that you know we, we know what it is. All right, and as you can see, once I press save, then this box comes out. We wanna click right here and we wanna set it to manual. And then right here, all of the products come out in this long list. So you gotta know your stuff. You gotta know what these products are, okay? So, um, you know, I could just go to town. One, two, three, four, five. Just select whichever ones you want, and then Shopify will just put them all there for you. And based on all this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want the black tie romper to come out first. Click, drag, drop. Then I want this one to come out second. Boom. This one to come out last. Boom. And then press save. And that's it. If you want to view the example of the collection, click where it says view. And there you have it. That's the example. It's, it's that easy when it comes to manual. Um, the only bad part about the manual is that you literally have to go in here and choose them one by one. If you don't want them there anymore, you got to kind of click them out. If they get sold out, you have to manually check them out. So it's very manual, right? You're going to have to constantly work on your stuff and update it and do all this stuff, okay? It's tedious. But let's go over here and create a condition collection where it's where there's rules and let's just look at one of them here real quick this one's called dresses and dresses has a condition where it searches all of your products from all the products that you made it searches all of your products to see if they have tags what are tags okay tags is this let's go and create tags to those two products that we made. You remember these? We're gonna add tags to these, okay? And we go inside the product and we go right here where it says tags and we're gonna add dresses. See, dresses. I click on that, that goes there. I'm gonna press save. Look what happens. Because dress, the dress collection already has a condition. This right here, collections, remember how it, it looks empty right here? I'm gonna press save, look what happens it automatically put it in the dresses collection. Automatically. I don't have to go into the dress collection, look for this product, and manually add it in there. No, it's auto. That's what this is. You add, you tag a product so that it automatically goes into a collection that you have created with a special condition. Let's go back into collection and create this special condition. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say create collection. And this one is going to be called sample, um, let's see, uh, condition collection. And right here, we're going to keep it so it says automatic on this drop down. I'm going to go right here where it says tag. I'm telling the collection, hey, collection, look for products that have tag, which equal to the word dresses. Save. Oh, wait, before we press save, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's press save, screw it. Boom, 
It brings it all, all at once. It searches it all. But we can't do anything. Notice those little things are not there. That's because it's set by default like this. So we got to change it to where it says manual. There it is. Now we could, boom, boom, we could do this. Okay? And press save. But remember what I told you the other uh, earlier on the previous video. I said, well, we don't want this to show up if the product is sold out. You know, if this product sells out, we don't want to show it on the website. Let's add a condition that does that. We're going to add another condition. We're going to say inventory stock is greater than zero. So you're only going to show me products that have an inventory count greater than zero. And this, by the way, only works if you have Shopify control your inventory, meaning that you add the inventory manual as to how many you have. Otherwise, this makes no sense. So let's say in this example, pocket dress sold out, boop, it, it, it takes it away. It's still in your system, but it just takes it away. But if you go into pocket dress and you add five products, it brings it right back. That's how you create a collection. So summarizing, you create a collection based on the condition, or you could create a collection based on manual. So the next question then would be, well, why would I want, you know, which one is best for me then? You know, I always suggest this one, you know, do all the heavy lifting first so that everything's easy for you after. But there are certain collections that you need to have manual, such as bestsellers. Why? Well, because, you know, your bestsellers are going to change from month to month. You're going to have certain seasons that bestsellers will be a certain product or featured products. You know, those collections that you have to change them every so often. But then everything else that's pretty standard, uh, give them this automation and you should be all set. Okay. This concludes this video of part two on how to add products into Shopify collections. In the third video, we're going to talk about how to now grab the collections and assign them into the menu navigation system. See you then.